We've just described the eutectic reaction, and just to remind you, the eutectic reaction is when you have a liquid, and upon cooling it down, you get the formation of two different solids. We'll call them alpha and beta. Uh, we always just use Greek letters for generic solid phases. We will talk about um, the actual crystal structures in a later chapter. Another type of reaction is possible, where you start out with a solid and a liquid, and they form a new solid. What would this phase diagram look like? A phase diagram that features a paratectic reaction. Well, here's one example of what it might look like. Plotting it against temperature, we've got the fraction of two different phases. So component A, component B. Sometimes we just write um, this, the chi B, to represent the fraction of component B. That could be weight fraction or mole percent, um, either way. Um, then the diagram might look something like this. That's a flat line. Okay, let's go ahead and label this thing using the 1, 2, 1, 2 rule that we just learned. So up top, we know that we're going to have our liquid. Okay. Now, we could pick any temperature. So let's pick this one. We can draw a flat line, and it has to follow the 1, 2, 1, 2 rule. So if that's a single phase, that must be a two phase, and that must be a single phase, right? So let's go ahead and label those. So let's call this a solid phase alpha, which makes this a liquid plus alpha right there. All right, now let's do this, this rule again. Let's do it right here. So we've got a single phase where it's still liquid. This must be two, that must be a one, a two, and a one, okay? So let's go ahead and label this now. So we said this, this is a single phase. Let's call this beta right here. That makes this alpha plus beta. Whatever's on the left and right, right? What it's connected to on the left and right are the phases that will be present in a two-phase region. So this region connected here to here is gonna be beta plus liquid, right? Now can you see the paratectic reaction here? Hopefully you can, and you'll notice that it's right there. At that point, if you cool down through that point, you will go from having a liquid plus alpha, and then once you go through that point, you'll be left with just beta. So that is a paratectic reaction.